thanks for dropping in. This is the 3D printed Barrel Coopers puzzle box. A puzzle box I designed a while ago, and in this video, we're going to upgrade it to replace one specific part of the puzzle that could break if put under excessive pressure. This video is going to reveal a little bit of the solution for the puzzle, so if you don't want to be spoiled on that account, don't watch any further. This is the piece we're going to be replacing. It's a cork with a large hole in it, a hole sized specifically for this 6mm by 14mm long metal pin that just fits into that hole and locks the cork in place. There's not a whole lot of meat on either side of the cork, and with undue pressure, the piece can snap. This is the new cork design. It has a much smaller hole for a, another pin that's the same length, but this time only 4 millimeters in diameter. Now it's still possible to snap in half, but it's more difficult to do so. Unfortunately the barrel itself is not sized to accept this smaller pin. If you just try pushing this new pin in the old hole, it's going to have too much flexibility and it's going to wiggle all over the place. So. We could either reprint the barrel entirely to work with this pin, or we can use a small shim piece, which will resize the hole that this pin sits in to appropriately fit both the pin and the original hole size. So fortunately, these are the only parts that we need for this upgrade. Let's get to installing. The first step is to separate these three shell pieces, and fortunately they're all held in place by only a single bolt, which you can see here and you can see the lock nut for it on the other side. We'll need to take a pair of pliers or something to keep the lock nut held in place. And then with an Allen key, we're just going to loosen that bolt. And there we are. The shells are now ready to come apart. In the bottom shell, you'll see the hole that the metal pin slides into. We'll want to remove the old pin. There we go. Now we're going to take the shim piece. This one has a bit of a flare on one end just because of how the plastic was pushed against the build plate. That doesn't really matter, but if you do have a similar shape like this, just uh, shove the other side of the shim in first. It should be a pretty tight fit, but with either hand force or worst case scenario, a hammer, you should be able to get it to sit flush in this hole. And there we go. Now we'll just slide in the new pin. It may be a little difficult to get it past this initial rim, but once it's past that, it should move smoothly within the shim itself. Test it a few times to make sure that it's moving around correctly. And that looks good. So we're just going to take the bottom shell again and reattach it to the others. Take the long bolt with the spring and the washer, insert that into the top of the puzzle and take the lock nut and tighten it onto that bolt. Now that this is finger tight, I'm going to tighten it the rest of the way. And a little trick I've learned from assembling a lot of these is if I take the Allen wrench to hold the bolt still on one side and then use this torque wrench on the other side, the depth of this bit here is just the perfect depth for getting the right tightness of the spring. It doesn't matter that this is a torque wrench, I'm not actually going to reach the point where the torque will uh, come into play, but it's just a lot easier to use. I started to feel this nut slipping as uh, I ran out of clearance for the torque wrench, and sure enough, that gave me a good amount of length here on the spring side. And that feels good. Now the cork's back in, we'll just toss the lids on and be good to go. Of course, if you're printing this for the first time, you do not need to print this upgrade. Just make sure that you select a center shell piece that's specifically made for the four millimeter in diameter pins. And of course, make sure you're printing the right cork size as well. I hope this helps if you had any trouble with broken corks on the old design. So until next time, thanks for stopping by. to break this one too, but it's more difficult to do so.